Thank you, Steve, for that beautiful introduction and repeating the dad joke yet again. Um, he promised, he promised, he promised. <laughs> okay, anyway, we are beyond moved. Um, thank you, Tom. Thank you, Rafaela. Thank you, Basil. Um, everyone at Doc NYC. My parents who are here tonight, today. <laughs> and all the many people in this room who have helped us along the way in our careers as mentors, friends, and inspiration. Um, thank you to our closest collaborator, the great Bob Eisenhart. And just please stand up for a second, Bob. Like, <laughs> He's also a great babysitter, just so you know. <laughs> um, Jocelyn Barnes for being our compass, moral, political, in every way. Thank you, Joss. Um, um, Nick Dube and Jonathan Oppenheim, who I don't think they're here, um, for showing me the ropes and observational documentary. Um, and to all the people who have supported me through all these years, and then welcome Jim, welcoming Jimmy into our community, including Chris and Penny, Kara Mertes, Mahan Bonetti, who I hope is here tonight. Mahan, are you here? Okay. Um, Bonnie Cohen, Rob Moss, Julie Goldman, Nancy Ford, Jay Freund, Molly Thompson, Morgan, Ma and Marshall. Um, and also a big thank you to our free solo produ producers, Evan Hayes and Shannon Dill. And of course, to Alex for allowing us to share your story. Um, congratulations um, to all those who are being honored today, Tabitha Jackson, Orlando Bagwell. Thank you for supporting what we do and also kind of subverting it and emancipating it and just documentary needs you guys. And Vim Vendors, just thank you. <laughs> um, making films is all I ever wanted to do. Um, I remember inviting Christine Choi to speak um, at the Asian American Association Club at my high school when I was 14. And I wrote her a letter and then she responded. And she came and she showed who come Vincent Chin and talked to us. We're about 20 girls and it was just, I mean, it was amazing. So thank you, Christine. Um, this is um, especially meaningful to Jimmy and me because of the two formidable people who this award is named for, Robert and Andrew. Um, I could also say Anne and Robert Drew. Um, 16 years ago, at the One World Film Festival in Prague, I had the honor of spending a few days with Robert Drew and Richard Leacock. Um, my mother traveled with me to the festival, I was 22, and I'll never forget coming down to breakfast to find her sitting with Bob and Ricky and asking them the difference between cinema verite and direct cinema. <laughs> if you knew her, this would be even funnier. Uh, she went on to ask them if documentarians make any money. <laughs> um, I'd also like to mention the bold, exceptional filmmakers, our peers and our friends who've received the same award for documentary excellence over the past five years. Laura Poitras, Don Porter, Kim Longinato, Heidi Ewing and Rachel Grady. We're humbled to be included amongst you. <laughs> and Jimmy, I think, is especially humbled to be the first male filmmaker to receive this award. <laughs> that's, that's funny. Um, well, you know, echoing Chai's thanks, uh, I want to thank you all for this honor. Truly grateful, uh, and, and as she said, just welcoming me into this community as well. Uh, I've made a lot of new friends here, and it's been, a, it's been amazing, but. Uh, just now, I was just so moved uh, by the reel because I think it illustrated what Chai has contributed to the world of documentary filmmaking before I even knew her. You know, her films celebrate courage in the face of religious persecution, the quiet strength of those who live by a philosophy of peace and nonviolence, and people who rise up in the resistance to injustice. When Chai and I first met, you know, I was struggling to 
put together the footage that eventually became Meru. I really couldn't find a way into the story, and I was just, I think I was a little too close to it. Uh, I asked Chai if she would watch it, and uh, if she thought there would be anything there. I waited anxiously. She didn't respond for three months. <laughs> At the time, I was in Senegal making Incorruptible. Um, when I returned, I watched Jimmy's footage. It was thrilling, it was exquisite, but it also had heart. Um, you, could you could sense the profound connection that Jimmy had with his fellow climbers, with the people he was filming, and with the natural world around him. Um, all qualities that I've come to expect and count on from Jimmy in everything he does. Um, yeah. yeah. Well. <laughs> So here we are, two films later, and two children later. Actual children, Kill, real yeah. children. <laughs> <laughs> um, yes, it's been, it's been quite the journey of filmmaking and producing other things. Um, but, you know, Chai and I worked together to make Meru, and, and really she was critical in transforming it from a film about just mountain climbing into a film about uh, friendship and family and an exploration of drive and, and uh, ambition. So when we were discussing what we were going to do for our next film, I had suggested uh, making a film about Alex Honnold, my good friend, who is here. And, uh, you know, I think that publicly Alex is kind of perceived as being completely fearless. And privately, you know, Chai and I both knew that that wasn't true and that he fears a lot. Uh, the same things that we do, like intimacy in developing relationships and whether he is living his life as fully as possible. Alex's story is not about fear, but about couraging, courage and connection. It's about living your life and pursuing your dreams with great intention. I mean, it felt really nice this afternoon to see the African films up there, it's just, they mean so much to me, and it's just nice to, like, I think more people in this room have seen them now than anyone ever saw them before. Um, so that's very, very nice. Um, especially just because that Jimmy and I are both, like what we discovered we had in common, were that we were the kids of immigrants, right? Immigrants who had fled their home countries under religious and also ideological persecution, and who also expected a lot from their kids like tons, and I don't know if my mom and dad and certainly Jimmy's parents ever expected that we would end up here doing this, really, like my mom's like, mount married a mountain climber. Um, but I, I don't know, I'm just happy that this work has always celebrated like the courage and connection, and it's so true to what we do as documentary filmmakers. Um, we want to say thanks again for this honor and to ever in, everyone in this room for giving us courage and connecting with us. Um, we look out in the crowd and we see so many people who have inspired us. Um, please keep on challenging us. Please keep on telling stories that need to be told. Thank you very much. Yeah, thank you.